And it's been more than three months since WNBA star Brittany Griner has been detained in Russia. Dozens gathered Monday at the Toyota Center in Houston, where she is from, demanding her release. Among Griner supporters, U.S. Marine Trevor Reed, who was recently released after being held in Russia for three years. There is no justice in Russia. Brittany and Paul will not receive justice in Russia. They're not going to receive a fair trial. They will not receive a fair investigation. They will be there as hostages until the United States gets them out. Brittany Griner has been detained in Russia since February 17th. Russian officials stopped her while at the airport for allegedly having cannabis oil in her luggage. And happening today, health officials will be conducting tests to see if a no-swim advisory for Biscayne Bay can be lifted. Right now, there's a no-swim advisory stretching from Bill Bag State Park to the Venetian Causeway. Now, officials say the sewage system and water processing equipment just couldn't handle the amount of rain we had over the last week. And sewers are also backed up in other parts of the area, including Little River and Miami Lakes, where warnings went up about contaminated water. And sporadic flooding lingers across our area. Area. This car's driver learned that the hard way of getting rescued by that swamp buggy. The driver says that he tried to go through a flooded part of the street and his car just stopped working. And once it was towed out, they opened the door and mm. it's the leftover lots, water inside. Yeah, lots and lots of water mm -hmm. and still the ground very saturated. So we a lot don't of people need thought their cars were submarines this weekend. Yeah, no. uh, <laughs> didn't yes. quite work out. Yeah, you you really want to avoid driving through those flooded roads because it can be dangerous. Uh, your car can be ruined or stalled out. So, you know, especially if you live in southern Miami-Dade County this morning, there will be a lot of ponding and flooding still. Flood advisories, in effect, in fact, until 8 a.m. because of the fact that we have been dealing with the heavy downpours overnight and throughout the morning hours, and there's still raining, rain training across some of the same neighborhoods around South Alapata, Princeton, Silver Palm, the Redland, Leisure City, some more showers headed towards Florida City. And we have reports of anywhere from about four to six inches of rain for some of these areas in Southern Dade County here in the last six hours or so. So any additional rain will lead to even more flooding. And a flood watch is in effect for all of South Florida through this evening as there will be the potential for scattered showers and storms. Although the forecast models have been consistent and now trending towards the bulk of the action being over on the west coast of the peninsula and over the Everglades. So Miccosukee could be getting drenched too as we head throughout the morning hours if you're headed along Tamiami Trail heads up there. Notice how by 11 a.m. we may see some rain around parts of Kendall through midday that could spread into Miami Gardens, downtown Miami, parts of Homestead, and then some showers and storms possibly around Aventura through Kendall, but then it starts to push out. The rest of the day is actually looking pretty quiet as compared to yesterday. Winds are calm or light and temperatures climb to the upper 80s. Today we are seeing some clouds around this morning as we head into your Wednesday. Still a mix of sun and storms, keeping the rain gear handy and then more of a typical summertime pattern to end the week and we'll see the rain chance a little lower with spotty storms. Let's get a check of your drive right now with Chris Barr. Thank you, Lieutenant. Good morning, South Florida. Well, Chopper 4 was just over the scene in Miami-Dade County where a right lane was blocked on 95 heading southbound after the 112 Airport Expressway. Road crews working to clear that scene up for us, and it has now been cleared from the right lane and pushed over to majority of the right shoulder. We did see a portion of the 62nd Street on-ramp closed as well, but traffic is now getting by that scene, and pretty much all traffic is still up to speed as you're heading towards downtown and the Dolphin Expressway. In Broward County, a crash is blocking a right lane once again on the Sargrass Expressway northbound after Coral Ridge Drive, but no delay there, and road crews almost have that damaged vehicle prep for tow, but I-95, the turnpike, and I-75 are all up to speed at this time. That's a look at traffic. Back to you. Chris, thank you. The former South Florida leader of the Proud Boys now facing a new charge in connection to the crisis at the Capitol. Details in our next half hour. And first, he's supposed to be saving lives, but now one Florida fire chief is in jail, accused of murder. What investigators say led to the violence. Plus, Los Angeles is getting ready to welcome the world, a preview of the Summit of the Americas, and we now know who won't be attending. Watch CBS 4 News anywhere you go. It's easy to stream CBS News Miami 24-7. Here's how. Download the CBS News app, scroll to live channels, then select CBS News Miami. Or download Pluto TV, tap Live TV at the bottom, scroll to local, 
Then CBS News Miami. Now you'll see breaking news, weather, and stories that impact you whenever you need it. And it's always free. CBS 4 News is sponsored by Safeguard Impact Windows and Doors. Visit SafeguardImpact.com for your free estimate today. Safeguard Impact Windows and Doors. Hurricane season promotion. 30% off, zero money down, 100% financing, best price guaranteed. Visit SafeguardImpact.com for your free estimate today. RV Show USA comes to the South Florida Fairgrounds. Prices slashed on every new and used motorhome, adventure van, and trailer from Tiffin, Winnebago, Fleetwood, Ford, and more. Free admission and parking. RV Show USA at the South Florida Fairgrounds starts Thursday. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Free samples? Like free samples. Yum. Joy. Thank you. Free samples. Mm. We get it. That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Grab one for my sister, too. <laughs> Injured? Thanks. Call Morgan & Morgan for the people.com. Hello again. You don't know me. Every search you make, every click you take, every move you make, Every step you take, I'll be watching you. The internet doesn't have to be so creepy. DuckDuckGo is a free all-in-one privacy app with a built-in search engine, web browser, one-click data clearing, and more. Stop companies like Google from watching you by downloading the app today. DuckDuckGo. Privacy simplified. RV Show USA comes to the South Florida Fairgrounds. Prices slashed on every new and used motorhome, adventure van, and trailer from Tiffin, Winnebago, Fleetwood, Ford, and more. Free admission and parking. RV Show USA at the South Florida Fairgrounds starts Thursday. Safeguard Impact Windows and Doors. Hurricane season promotion. 30% off, zero money down, 100% financing, best price guaranteed. Visit SafeguardImpact.com for your free estimate today. Attention, the Lord of the Latrine has arrived. I want to welcome you guys all to my big brother funeral. Welcome to the cookout. Flurries, you better grab a life vest. Yeah, I'm such a floater. Really, what competitions have you won? Big Brother is back Wednesday, July 6th on CBS. Well, new this morning, a Florida fire chief is now waiting to be extradited after he's accused of murder. Investigators say Baker Fire Chief Brian Easterling was seen on surveillance video entering a gas station in Pensacola and opening fire, killing a man. Investigators say Easterling shot the man over past business deals and was owed money by the victim. He was arrested at his home and booked on premeditated murder.